Robots are rapidly becoming more advanced every day. This video is going to surprise you, and it's going to change your view on what type of form a robot can really be. So stay tuned, and let's begin the top 7 countdown. At number 7, the Mokibot. Based on a rhombic tricon tetrahedron, and yes, I have no idea what that really means, but supposedly it has 32 vertices. Now, this might seem a little bit overkill, because it does really pretty much the same thing as a spherical bot. But this one has a little bit more control on how much contact it actually has with the ground. It moves by retracting and extending its legs, and thankfully it has no explosives like a roller mine from Half-Life. For now, it seems a little bit slow, but we'll have to wait and see if the team can actually advance the design. At number 6, the Z6. The company which brought forth the T8X has designed a new and improved version of the spider robot. The Z6 can do some pretty amazing acrobatic workouts, but it can also climb stairs and even navigate some pretty rough terrain. It can also throw a few punches during its 4-step dance routine, so it's best to be nice to this adaptive machine. There is no official price just yet, but I expect the Z6 to be a little bit more pricey than the T8X, which is around $1000. At number 5, the Guardian GT. You can finally attain superhuman strength and destroy entire city blocks. On a serious note, the GT model is not really meant to be a war machine or something that actually goes around and destroying things. But regardless, it's actually a pretty cool robot, which can accurately mimic the user's movements. And this type of air control is becoming more popular all the time. So this thing is really impressive and it can lift over a thousand pounds. And it's right up there with the Method 1 and even Toyota's THR3 AR robot. Now obviously this has endless applications, and I kind of like the idea of merging with a robot over the idea of just having a robot doing everything. At number 4, Biohybrid Robots. So this particular robot is actually alive in some sense, and it utilizes live muscle tissues from rats. This allows it to mimic a human's finger, and it still requires water and a basic skeleton, so it's not completely self-sufficient. Electric impulses control the finger, and this allows it to pick up some basic objects. I just hope that nobody builds a humanoid robot entirely composed of rat cells, because we might have some sort of hybrid killing machine on our hands. At number 3, the Velox. I bet you have never seen a robot quite like this one. This robot has fins, which utilize a hyperbolic geometry in order to swim like a ray and crawl like a millipede. So yeah, this is one of the most agile robots out there, and it can autonomously swim underwater while sending the live video feed to the ground station. Oh, and by the way, it can also move on ice. Unfortunately, the Velox is not officially for sale just yet, but it will soon be spawning underlings and taking over the ocean in just a couple years. At number 2, Soft Robotics. So we have seen biohybrid robots, which replace conventional motors and actuators with real living cells, but there's actually another way to correlate movement. Meet the Soft Robotic Spider, which is basically made of silicone rubber. It uses hollow microfluidic channels, which are filled with water. And these small pressurized tubes allow the robot to make subtle movements. And yes, it's not really the fastest thing out there. But these types of robots can be millimeters in size, and they can still work due to their flexible structure. Ultimately, these types of robots could lead to medical applications, such as microsurgery. At the great number one, the Elawan. So this thing works by using electrodes, which detect bioelectric chemical signals from the plant. And this allows the cyborg to move into a location which is best suited for its survival. So if you place this plant in a bad spot, it's going to get mad and it's going to move to a more comfortable area. Thankfully, the robot does not attack the owner for overwatering or doing bad small talk. So we have nothing to fear from this potential plant overlord, at least for now. So unfortunately, this is going to drive the vegetarian purist to the brink of insanity. But like I said, this is one of the strangest robots out there, and I think the future is just going to be really weird. So once again, thanks for watching the video. Please like it if you enjoyed it or found it interesting. And make sure to subscribe to my channel.